Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me back on today's uh, three month update of the PLS 50 Catalyte Skimmer. Now guys, if there's ever been a product that I've been asked to do a follow up video um, anymore, um, I don't think there ever has been. This uh, by far has been the number one product. Everyone's just been always DMing me saying, hey, when are you doing the, the uh, final thoughts on the PLS 50 Catalyte Skimmer? So. We're here today guys to do that video you guys can see here kind of how it fits in my tank it's a very sleek uh, skimmer it does fit here in my all-in-one JBJ 45 gallon tank and I think that was a, one of the main goals I was after when uh, you know I, I was looking at the skimmer but most importantly I think in what you all care about is really how does it skim well guys I think this is gonna be the one, most easiest videos for me to do as far as a follow video because I mean, look at this, guys. The video just speaks for itself. This skimmer does an absolutely great job of skimming. I think one of the key features on the skimmer uh, the Catalytes was able to do, they were literally able to pretty much how you can have a full size skimmer in a small all in one tank. So they've pretty much taken all the designs of big, you know, the, the their bigger skimmers and bigger skimmers out in the market and really just condensed it. Um, you're able to adjust the neck of the skimmer. Um, so it's just like a standard skimmer in the past. I've used Tunzi. I've used Aquamax and I really don't like the way you adjust the skimming on those It's kind of done by messing with the cup. I, I just believe it's not the wrong way, but there's better ways of doing it um, So in the whole thing of me looking for an actual more real design skimmer uh, Cad lights released the v2 of the PLS 50 and you guys can see here, it really does a great job of skimming, whether you want a wet skimmate, whether you want a dry skimmate. Here, this collection cup is about a week and a half. Uh, generally, uh, with the skimmate you see here, it lasts about two weeks, and you guys can see it grabs a whole mess of gunk, which I think at the end of the day, that's really what we're after, and that's what we're looking for in a skimmer. So, another thing I really enjoy about this PLS 50 is how easy it is to clean. The Tunzi guys, that by far was the worst thing to clean. Um, it was very difficult. Um, and, and it's just because the, the really small areas you have, it's hard to get a finger in there. It's just really difficult. The Aquamax, that thing, the way the, the cup is designed, I really hope they, they redo the cup, but it really gets down to like really, really thin where you can't even fit anything to the bottom of that thing. So, it's a good skimmer, just very difficult to clean. And by far the PLS 50 here, you guys can see. I mean, just look, look at all this gunk, just tons of gunk coming out of it. I always like to use here a little paper towel. Um, acts as a sponge, I just feel sometimes the sponge may uh, scratch the acrylic or whatever material this is made out of. Um, and look at the neck, guys. Look at how much gunk is coming out of this neck. This thing was absolutely filthy. Um, that's another important thing guys anytime you are cleaning out your your cups You, you don't just want to empty them. You want to be sure you at the very least clean the neck Because um, that'll obviously reduce the performance and another really great thing. I, I want to touch on as I'm cleaning this thing is This skimmer I noticed a lot of other skimmers took a few days to break in this thing was pulling out crazy skimmate after about the sixth hour so that's another good thing I really liked about it. I just really believe that Catalytes, you know, really hit a home run. For you guys out there wondering, you know, what skimmer to run in your all-in-one tank, I'm going to highly recommend the Catalyte 50. Even if you got a, a sump design, you know, you don't need to be an all-in-one. You can use it um, in a sump. And you guys can see here all the bubbles that, that are already foaming up. And it's really simple to remove and install. Uh, just push the come in place and you're good to go. You can see nice, squeaky clean. The silencer you guys can see here on the left side, uh, very easy. That's another thing I want to touch on, guys. This by far, out of all the skimmers I've ever run in my tank, by far the quietest skimmer, hands down. Hands down the quietest skimmer compared to the Tunzi, um, compared to the Aquamax. That's one thing I really like. More importantly, the wife, because I, I have this room in my living room. So if you guys are really looking for a compact skimmer that does an amazing job, at an amazing price point and really just as pretty much as close as you can to silent this PLS 50 v2 is absolutely for you so I really think here you guys want to hear my final thoughts on the skimmer right as far as how it skims I'd give this thing a 10 um, how quiet it is I'd give it a 10 Com again this is compared to what I've run being the Tunzi 
and the Aquamax. I'd give it a 10 on how quiet it is. How easy it is to clean the cup, an absolute 10. And I'm gonna highly recommend the skimmer to anyone out there, specifically for all-in-ones, if you guys are looking for skimmers. Um, this by far is gonna get you as close as you can get to a, what I would call a full-size in some skimmer. Um, it's essentially the same design. Um, you know, the way you adjust the body to get more water, less water, so on and so forth, and instead of adjusting the cup, which again, I don't wanna say it's the wrong way, just I don't like the way that's done. Um, so yeah guys, if you guys are wondering what skimmer to get for your all-in-one, if it fits, I would highly recommend this PLS50 skimmer. So if you guys would like to know more details about it, I am going to have a link in the description below. Uh, you're going to be able to find it on catalytes.com as well as another uh, few websites carrying the product. But I think we're going to end this video here guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment box below. And yeah, hopefully you guys got something useful out of this uh, three month review of the Catalyte PLS 50 guys. As always, thanks for watching. Happy reefing.